Good evening guys, Mike here again from MIM Reptiles. As discussed a few days ago, this will be a video regarding um, two of my top three lists that I've compiled today. Um, top three snakes that are my favourites or that I'd like to own in the future. And also top three other reptiles that I would like to own or I consider some of my favourites in the future. Apologies, um, I don't have Jani out today, she's actually deep in Shed, so I thought I'd leave her to Shed um, on her own. So I've got Archie out today, just as a little background entertainment. Um, so in terms of my top three snake species at the moment, it would be, um, to begin with, a boa constrictor, like Archie is here. I think they're great pets, they're great snakes to deal with, they are usually quite gentle, they tame down very well. Um, they do get an impressive size, but they don't get unmanageably big. Um, another snake I would like in the future, or I think is one of my favourites, would be a blood python. Um, possibly a, a red blood python. Um, again, they get an impressive size. They are very girthy. I think they're a bit like a ball python on steroids. Um, one drawback might be their, their temperament sometimes, but I, I believe if you tame them down, they should be fine. Um, and finally, another one I'd like to possibly have in the future, if not just admire from a distance, would be a rhino rat snake. I think just the, w the way they look, um, with the, the horn on their nose, or, you know, on the end of their nose, a little appendage, um, looks really cool. Um, so yeah, that'll be another one I'd like to definitely see. Um, in the flesh in the future so who knows I might see it on Sunday so three um, reptiles uh, other than snakes that I like or would like to own firstly knob-tailed gecko I've come across those quite recently and um, they're very cute they've got big eyes and little tails very good personalities and um, they can be quite noisy I believe and um, another one would be a red-eyed croc skink um, I have come across those a few times. They look very impressive. They're like little little dragons um, from that, that film, How to Train Your Dragon. They look a little bit like those, so Google them if you haven't seen them yet. They're very, very cool animals. And again, if I had unlimited money and unlimited space uh, and time and time management skills, uh, another one I'd like to have or like to sort of preserve in the future might be a Komodo dragon, just because of their you know impressive size. Um, their sort of, you know, their, their reputations. Uh, I have seen them a few times in zoos, um, but obviously if I had my own sort of sanctuary, I'd like to keep some of those. And one bonus uh, reptile I'd like to own in the future would be a red-headed rock agama. Uh, if you haven't seen those, just think of Spider-Man, uh, a lizard version of Spider-Man, so they're red and blue. Again, Google that if you want to look them up. Um, again, guys, thank you for all the support you've been showing me. Um, coming up to uh, nearly up to 100 subscribers so thank you uh, so keep in tune for a video uh, for my 100, 100 subscribers special um, if anyone has any ideas comment below what I what you think I should do again uh, watch out for the reptile show videos that should be coming up on the Sunday evening slash Monday afternoon uh, I've got a few requests to look out for at the reptile show so I'll try and get those in and give the the guys a special mention um, and also Archie's birthday will be next week this guy here he'll be one year old so I'll do a special video for him so hit the like button guys subscribe if you haven't already if you're new comment below with some of your your favorite lists of, of could be snakes, could be reptiles, could be animals in general. Uh, so let me know, guys. Once again, thank you for viewing. I'll leave the last word to Archie. Say cheerio. Cheerio, guys.